Hello everyone and welcome to part 2 of the Keyscape demo review. In case you haven't watched the first part, in which we demo the acoustic pianos and talk about general impressions of the software, be sure to do so and I'll leave a link in the description for you guys. Now today we'll be looking at the electric pianos and the electromechanical instruments. Now in the intro you've just heard the vintage vibe electric piano, which is a modern electromechanical instrument similar to the Rhodes constructed by an American company named Vintage Vibe. And this is, by the way, the official VST version of that instrument. It sounds like a combination of a Rhodes and a Wurlitzer, both of which we'll also listen to now. Let's start with the Rhodes Mark I, sometimes known as the Fender Rhodes. And again, we'll be comparing it with the Kawai ES920 Rhodes sample. Now here is the Wurlitzer, which is a reed electric piano, in contrast to the Rhodes, which had tines. Now again, we'll be comparing the Keyscape Wurlitzer with the ES920 internal Wurlitzer sound. Let me know in the comments which one you liked better. <laughs> Fun fact, the ES920 here has a Pianet N sample, and that's unusual because most hardware keyboards do not feature that instrument. So that allows us to actually do a comparison between Kawai's Pianet and Keyscape's Pianet. So let's hear them both side by side, and again, let me know which one you liked better. In my opinion, this is where really the Kawai disappoints and Keyscape just gets it 100% right. This is the best pianet sample I've ever heard. Mm -hmm. 
Now let's hear other various electromechanical instruments that Keyscape has, for example, the electric grand piano by Yamaha, the CP70, as well as another LA custom Rhodes piano, a clavinet, and a few others. <laughs> What are my final thoughts? Well, in my opinion, the electric piano slash electromechanical instruments is where Keyscape really, truly shines. Last episode, we talked about how there isn't much variety in terms of acoustic pianos, and this is not a piano-centric virtual instrument. But if you are looking at the bigger picture and think, well, I d I'm not looking just for a piano, I'm looking for a piano, an electric piano, and all sorts of other stuff. Well, in my opinion, Keyscape today still holds its own when it comes to the quality of the roads. 
Eric Persing, which heads Spectrosonics and was in charge of the development of Keyscape, actually has been working on synthesizers and VSTs since the 80s. For example, he was developing the uh, D50 by Roland, which was a groundbreaking instrument uh, combining sampling and synthesis. Now, the amount of work they actually put into Keyscape is mind-boggling, and you could uh, learn about it from various interviews, etc. They were just so meticulous in sampling every single key of every instrument in various velocities, and uh, in my opinion, if you're a big Rhodes fan, if you're a big Wurlitzer fan, well, you might want to reconsider Keyscape. Again, I haven't demoed everything, but in the next video, which will be probably a, a, a plain only video, I won't be talking, I'll demonstrate all sorts of other sounds, other exotic keyboards, and other uh, variations of the electric pianos and pianos. So, with that being said, thank you very much for watching as always, and I'll see you guys next time, so stay in touch and bye-bye.